But we got Loose Cannon responding to Cowboy. Cowboy, you a you should have been got put off the hood for letting Nipsey get killed. Buster ass, you ran like a hoe. Okay? Watch your mouth when you talk to a crib. Big, you know he's setting your ass up for danger. Crib Street. You know what I'm saying? He has some words for Cowboy. And, he and we also got some clarification from Loose Cannon on some of the statements he made as far as Big U and the phone call he got. I never said Big U had anything to do with it. Right? You just have to understand that everybody knew when, I mean, they knew when it was going to happen. It was just a matter of time of it happening because of hood politics. Now, when kids of five made a phone call and said, listen, I'm going up there to confront Nip or I'm going up there to do something because the, he knew. But we all knew it was going to happen eventually. You get what I'm saying? Now, just so you not a little bit out the loop, supposedly Nip had addressed Eric prior to what was said at the uh, marathon shop. And, you know, he had or or there was some things like some speculations about Eric being, you know, what I'm saying a rat or whatever. And the way that's handled, if you ain't got no paperwork is that's, you know, that's a violation. And a man is able to come step to you with the approval of the big homies. You feel me? And, and that's what he's saying. Basically, why he's saying everybody knew that it was just a matter of time because of what Nip might have said to some people in the hood or this that so okay just just imagine this like this this how it goes oh yeah um they hit the homie homie big you and say yeah i'm going up there right now oh yeah well because well, probably he probably up there and then it happens you get what i'm saying but i get the phone call before it happens you get what i'm saying like mm -hmm. alluding that Oh, yeah, yeah, cuz going up there to get his man. You get what I'm saying? So, mm. taking it out of context, like I'm saying, like, Big U knew I was getting, uh, we all knew it was going to happen eventually. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, that's not but I wonder how, I wonder how did he know, I wonder how did he know he was on his way up here, though. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I mean, because he probably called cuz and probably said, look, I'm on my way up there. You get what I'm saying? Mm. And that's how, and that's why probably Big U called me and said, you know. As far as him saying, oh, Big U might have got the call from Eric Holder. Like, yeah, I'm finna go up there and press nip and, you know what I mean? And then Big U supposedly saying, yeah, go get your man. And then Big U calling Loose Cannon. Now, that could have been the case, but it do seem a little far-fetched. Especially because Nip and Big U, if, if I'm not mistaken, they was on good terms around the time of Nip's passion. And then, why would Big U allow something like that to take place? Now, it's hood politics, right? So that, that could play a part in it. Nip getting bigger than his britches a little bit and the big homie wanting to see a nigga get put in his place, right? Now that's all hypothetical and speculo, you know what I'm saying? But why would Big U, if he was a part of the business, why would he want the business to stop? Now, one might could say, oh, well, just because Nipsey's business stopped don't mean Big U business was going to stop. And in fact, he was going to actually have more business once, you know, certain people was out the way. Do you get what I'm saying? So the people keep saying, like, yeah, I'm saying something. No, because we all knew it was going to happen eventually. You get what I'm saying? It was either that was going to kill him or... The other way around. That's just how it goes. Yeah, man. So what y'all think about that, man? What you think about the whole hood knowing that certain things was going to come to a head as far as Nip and um, Eric Holder? What you think about, you know, the clarification we got about, I guess, somewhat of some clarification about, you know, Big U and the phone call and it possibly being sanctioned and all oh, this, that, and the third, man. Um, do it sound far-fetched to you? Do it sound believable? I watched the whole interview, man, and he, he was saying the whole lot. He asked him to clarify why in one interview he said Nip called him, and then in the next interview he said he called Nip. 
and you know we really didn't get too much clarification on that but he tried to clear it up as much as possible i guess and you know maybe his memory didn't serve him right right you know what i'm saying but yeah man it's crazy um y'all let me know what y'all think about loose cannon man and what he say? I'm gonna have a full interview in the description so y'all can check that out. Shout out Demon Time Exotics.